today is a full video. I have two different hauls to share with you. One a Sam's Club haul and the other is a Walmart haul. I have a little bit of food that needs prepping for the week. One of them is going to be a delicious side dish of vegetable salad that you are not going to want to miss. And then I am so tired from doing all of this work that I am going to go into my freezer and pull out a freezer meal to make for my family. Welcome to Vlogtober. Today I have got a grocery haul for you. The first store I'm starting off with is Sam's Club. We have a six pack of P3 protein pack. We needed some batteries. We got some triple A's and double A batteries. Sam's Club is the best place to get batteries. We have a bag of these Dukes beef sticks. Timothy is obsessed with these things. Like the one night, the first time he ate them, he ate like a whole bag in a night. <laughs> he just loves those. And then I found these. They are a peanut butter and cranberry protein bar. Couple packs of chicken, some minute rice, a whole rotisserie chicken, some beef snack sticks, Canadian bacon, English cucumbers. Got a couple packs of lunch meat. One is an uncured applewood smoked ham, and the other one is a hickory smoked turkey breast. And then red, yellow, and orange peppers. Justin was so sweet. He saw me struggling with this rice box, trying to get it to open, and he just took over, opened up the box, filled up the rice container. He was a very big help and I truly appreciated it. I struggle putting items up in this tall cabinet, so Jason took over this project. He found quite a few of these protein bars on sale, so he got four boxes of them. Because we buy all of our bulk foods from Sam's, we always get everything else from Walmart. So here is what I got from Walmart this time. This was a substitution. We had ordered one iceberg lettuce and one romaine. They didn't have romaine, so they substituted it with another iceberg lettuce, which is fine. We'll use it. A red onion and a white onion, some cherub tomatoes. We have quite a few carrots going on for different recipes. Have baby carrots, matchsticks, and then a bag of full sized carrots. Bag of apples, some celery hearts, a couple heads of cauliflower, two green pepper. This was another substitution. We wanted real butter, but they substituted it for the I can't believe it's not butter sticks, which is fine. We'll use that one too. Some ginger paste, heavy whipping cream, shredded mild cheddar cheese, a bag of avocados. Michelle from My Everyday Wife Life, I'll have her channel linked below. We were having problems with avocados and she said since she has bought them in the bag, they've been a lot better because ours were going bad almost immediately. It was, it was really horrible. So I'm hoping that buying them in the bag, like Michelle had suggested, that that is going to fix that problem. Some cantaloupe. This is the deodorant that Timothy uses. Tortillas. Jason needed a bag of mini bag of Orville Redenbacher. We're almost all out of our ketchup and balsamic vinegar for that matter. <laughs> a couple cans of whole black olives. Needed some more tuna fish. We like the albacore solid white. Some chopped green chilies and then a can each of the mild and a can of the medium enchilada sauce. We really enjoy these frozen vegetables when we're in a hurry we can just dump them in a pan and you got vegetables for a side so we ended up with the oriental stir fry and the normandy blend i was looking for mccormick seasonings and i am telling you i hit the mother load of mccormick seasonings i am so excited about it they have got some new ones that i wasn't aware of these are a complete meal in a pack for seasonings for a side, seasonings for a meat, seasonings for a dressing. So this one is the Mediterranean 
and this one is a Japanese. I needed taco seasoning, and then these are some more that I found. I was pretty excited about them. I'm glad they had them in. This one is a chicken parmesan one sheet pan. This one is a one skillet Tuscan. These, this is a street taco, carne asada. This one is pork carnitas. We love pork carnitas, so I'm looking forward to trying that seasoning. I found two garlic parmesans. My guys absolutely love garlic parmesan chicken wings, so this is going to be a real treat for them. And the last one is another sheet pan, and it is the farmer's market chicken and vegetables. It's about a day later, it's Monday for me, and there are some preparations I wanna to make to the food that I had bought for the week. One of them is a side dish. It is a delicious vegetable salad. I haven't made it in a while, and I remembered it the other day. I was telling Jason, I'm like, hey, we haven't made that vegetable salad in a while. He's like, oh, it would be perfect to go with our lunches this week. And I also want to prepare a couple of cans of tuna fish. We really enjoy having tuna fish for lunches during the week. I always like to add onion and celery just to give it that extra crunch. We either put it in lettuce wraps or we toast up some bread and we have it that way. Of course, I need to prop the cantaloupe and get that ready to start snacking on. So that is a few things that I need to get prepped for the week. With this salad, it's basically just whatever kind of vegetables that you have on hand and that's what you put in a bowl. This time I have cherub tomatoes, a red onion, celery hearts, matchstick carrots, English cucumbers, bell peppers. I usually put broccoli and cauliflower, but this time I'm just gonna do two heads of cauliflower and I have some whole black olives. Absolutely flawless in every way. That's the day I'm having right now. I pinch my arm to believe. Best thing about making a veggie salad is you can snack on stuff the whole way through and not feel guilty. For the dressing, we are using Olive Garden Italian. I'm just gonna pour a little bit over it, mix it up, and it's done. This is a full bowl of veggies. That. I'm going to pull a freezer meal out of my freezer and that is what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. And I need to figure out a side dish for that too. So let's do that. For tonight's dinner, I decided on this freezer meal. It is the cranberry pork, and then I have a sauce to put over the top of it once it is finished. I'm going to lightly spray my pan before I add the pork. My oven is preheating on 350. The recipe had said to leave this whole, but I had decided to slice it and let all that seasoning get in between each slice. Okay, this goes in the oven for 50 to 55 minutes. It's time to get the sauce in the pan to start heating up. I've decided to make this stovetop stuffing savory herbs for tonight for a side. And I have taken a bag from my freeze meals when we froze corn. I think that will go really good with this pork dinner. I'm gonna just put it in the pan and add a little bit of water to it and I'm gonna cook it. I also decided to add some curly fries into the toaster oven. French fries are so good. After they're done baking, I turn it on to air fry and it crisps them up perfectly. 